Okay, so the lighting and this angle suck. It's literally on my bucket list for this year to have like a nice cute little space that I can just take videos in. Which pretty much sounds like all of my videos lately. But you know what? I read this one podcast that said all that my followers care about is seeing my true authentic self. Anyways, I figured I should just preface that because I don't want you guys to think I just don't try and I don't care. It's just that I really want you guys to see my true self. This is what I look like when I went to work today. And I just got done with a vet appointment and anyways, we need to get into the video because this is actually a very big video. When I look back on all my YouTube videos, it shows just like who I was at that time, how I was nervous about like new changes and stuff like that. And then I can see like how much I've grown from there and then look back on how much that experience taught me. So with that said, this video is really important to me and this is basically me announcing what I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know, but I live in a trailer. I just want to, again, put a little disclaimer that this is never something that I thought I was going to do. And I actually had an offer to live in my old high school rodeo RV, which is way bigger than the trailer that I have right now. And a year ago, I think it was like a year ago, probably a little more than that because I wasn't so desperate for a house. But I said no because I just, I just felt like I couldn't squeeze myself into such a small space and I have like so many clothes and so much makeup and I just really felt like it wouldn't be ever something that I could do but I want to get into exactly why this was like a good choice for my boyfriend and I and like what the benefits really are because I feel like a lot of people are stuck right now and I this is just like from personal experience in the west coast because um, like the renters market and the housing market, especially where I live, is so astronomically high. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like coming from Texas, not coming from, but like living in Texas and then coming here especially, it just really made me realize how expensive it is to live here. And there's a lot of people on the West Coast having this problem. And so I'm sure there's a lot of people just around the country that are having the problem as well. And so this is something that has really worked out for my boyfriend and I, and is something that's actually really setting up our future better than it would be if we were renting a house so yes that's my big announcement and that is why you've seen like a trailer behind me when I'm filming my other videos I really want to do a tour of it as well but we want to do some renovations of it so I want to show you guys like a before and after I'm gonna do that whole in like another video but really mainly for this video what I wanted to get into was what the pros and cons like in my eyes were why this is something that we thought was really the move for both of us before I get into the video, I have to mention that this is a collaboration with Maddie Kemp. We're just all about the collaborations. There aren't very many people out there that do videos like me, I feel like. Well, I know because I've done a lot of research on it and there's probably like 12 of us girls maybe out there. So I have messaged every one of the girls that I could find personally and I really want to collab with them because I really feel like networking is the biggest way that we can grow and scale the Western industry and what we're trying to do and what our missions are, whether it comes to barrel racing or just exposing the western industry as a whole so maddie is somebody like i said that i found and she's actually somebody that i found a lot earlier she is such a dedicated barrel racing vlog channel and she also lives in a trailer she lives in a living quarters horse trailer though so she gets to travel with her horses and stuff like that which i just think is really cool but that's why i wanted to do this video with her because she is also going to do her best tips for living in a trailer and what she likes about it and what she doesn't like about it and so when you're done watching this video definitely click the link below in my description to watch hers i have like a little list oh my gosh this camera's about to die so i'm gonna have to use my phone i'm just gonna go until the camera dies whatever the first number one thing is what i've already brought up is it has saved us so much money like literally to rent a house that we would want to rent not even to be with the horses uh to be with the horses is just like way above and beyond something that i could ever even think about renting at this point to find a house that would just like work for us even if it was just like a one bedroom studio like apartment around here you're gonna find them for like $1,200 to $1,600 if you can even find them. And I live in kind of a small town, so that's like kind of our issue. But it is just like 
we don't want to leave here and we want to be able to build a house here and we want to be able to plant our roots here. First of all, it's very difficult, like I said, to find them. But not only that, it's so hard for us to just think about the fact that we are giving somebody else $1,200 every single month. I just really am focused on preparing myself for my future and being able to have like a really good living when we're older. And it just really wouldn't work for us if we always had to give that money to somebody and so the good thing about a trailer is that it's an asset for us so the money that we've put into it we can also get right back out and so that's a huge thing for us because I am a huge advocate for having assets already and I'm looking into investing and stuff like that and just financially overall it is just it seems like just such a better decision for us. Next reason why I think it is such a good idea. Actually on here, my next reason was that it is an asset besides that it just saves us a bunch of money for rent. That is definitely important enough to be its own thing because having an asset, like I said, is just really big for both of us right now. And we just know like if anything goes to crap for us, that having the assets can always back us up. Like if we lose all of our money somehow or something like that, being able to have assets like the trip trailer and like Armida and stuff like that is just really important to us and provides like a sense of security. The next one is kind of like an obvious one. The fact that we can literally live pretty much anywhere that we want. It's nice because we're not ready to commit right now. We don't want to be stuck in one place at all. And if we want to move somewhere, we want the freedom to be able to do so. And so having a trailer really is just like such an opening and freeing feeling because like I said, we could literally live anywhere we want. And that is really a nice thing. I should have done some cons to this because one con I do want to say is it is going to be very hard for us to travel with horses. For right now that's not really like our priority. Like with barrel racing and stuff like that I am planning on getting a cab over for my truck and so that's not really going to be like a huge issue right now but that is one con that I will say that I've already kind of felt because I would like to be able to go camping with them. And that's another pro too. You can go camping with this thing. It's like bringing your home to a campsite. We've never done that before, but that is really something that we want to do. We're like little gypsies. <laughs> okay, the next one. Oh, this is a huge one that I noticed when we were getting into the whole looking at trailer thing. They are so way more incredibly functional than I even thought that they were going to be. It's just like little things that they incorporate to trailers that, you know, help the space be way more livable that you wouldn't really ever notice just by like walking around in it. I don't even know if I can think of an example right now, but it just is really functional way more functional than I thought it was gonna be and it's me my boyfriend and two dogs and we're making it work next one oh yeah so this comes back to the finances again that we're completely debt-free eventually when we buy our own house obviously I don't think we're planning on paying in cash but a big thing for us is to be debt-free I am financing this truck so that is obviously not completely debt-free but we don't want to go under and we don't want to be drowning in credit card bills or anything like that um, um, so like even with this truck financing it the main reason for me was to build my credit So eventually I can get approved to get finance for a house if that's something that we want to do And that's something that Keegan does as well and he's working on his credit But it's nice to not have to worry about having something else to pay for and then if that's the case It's not really an asset obviously until you fully pay it off So but also you could finance a trailer and that could be your home I don't know if that's good advice. I'm only 21, so. The next pro that I have for living in a trailer is that we live very minimal. This is like one of the reasons that I didn't even want to live in a trailer is because I didn't want to have to get rid of like a bunch of stuff. And honestly, going through all of the things that I needed to go through in order to move, I did, I can't remember what it's called. I saw it on a podcast somewhere and they basically said you go through your entire everything, your wardrobe, all your items, and you pick up everything and you say, does this item bring me joy? And if you say yes, then you keep the item. If you say no, then you get rid of the item. 
I got rid of so much stuff and it was really, I, I don't know why I was even holding on to half the stuff that I had, but honestly feeling so cluttered made me less happy. And now everything being so simple about my life is making me so much more clear minded. And so living minimal, whether it comes down to the pots and pans that we have, like we have, you know, one pot and pan per size, we have like four forks total, whatever, you know, just like very simple living like that has really found its benefits with us and it's just helped us be like I said a lot more clear-minded and yeah I just really like that part about it too I cannot believe my camera battery has lasted this long but while it's still lasting I wanted to give some tips so far from what I've learned within the month that I've lived in this and if any of you guys either have a trailer living in a trailer or you want to live in a trailer um, these are some tips that I've learned so far the first one is to get a plant air freshener I know that sounds really weird but my mom taught me about it and you can get uh, the one that I have is called mother mother-in-law's tongue and um, this is actually a really interesting thing my mom says it provides more oxygen into small spaces and that it also purifies your air and so she got me this plant and you know I can't say I've seen or felt a huge difference because I don't really know but if that's the case I love plants anyway and if that's what that plant is doing for my environment then it's awesome next thing hooks and sticky things that's what I wrote down oh this is a huge thing and this is even for you at your house and I know a whole lot of people already know about this so I'm just telling you like what my main tips are like the biggest things that have like helped us those one hooks that you could pull off the wall I can't remember what they're called but they have helped us so much much because obviously we don't want to be nailing or screwing really anything into the wall especially just picture frames or anything especially not tacks my camera's dying so I gotta hurry so babe I gotta hurry again my camera's dying I love you I missed you today Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to talk about was, oh yeah, I was talking about the hooks. Those are just really important because like I said, obviously we don't want to be screwing or anything into the walls and I've actually used them for my necklaces too. So that's an idea for somebody who maybe has a trailer if they haven't thought about that. Okay guys, so I don't know how long this video is going to be. I feel like I've been talking forever, but it's also super hot out here, so I'm pretty sure that's why. But um, I am really excited and like super relieved to finally have this video out to you guys because I've been wanting to show my trailer and stuff like that but also felt like I can't yet because I haven't announced it and so now consider it announced it really has changed our lives for the better it is something that I like I said I never would have thought that we that I could do and is never something that I really ever pictured myself doing besides just the benefits that it brings it has been so much more than I ever thought it could be and like I said don't forget to go over to Maddie's channel and check out her video too because like I said she posted one just like this and we're just a couple trailer girls anyways guys thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one bye